catfish feed formulation part 5 hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be discussing how to calculate the right amount of ingredient for our fish feed formulation this is not the usual feed formulation video you used to watch on youtube where you will not be told how to calculate or measure the right amount of ingredients but you can only see them adding some certain kg of ingredient and you will be wondering how do they come about those kg but in real sense nobody will teach you for free how to come up with your own unique formula because those people were charged 50,000, 100,000 and more before they are trained on how to produce quality feed formula that can convert 1 kg feed to 1 kg fish. But before I start showing you the secrets on how to formulate this type of quality feed, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon and also share this video, like this video and then if you have any question, use the comment section and then ask your question and I will be there to answer you as soon as possible and if you want to unlock this secret of producing 1 kg feed to 1 kg fish head over to the description of this video and download my unique blueprint on catfish feed formulation in today's video we are going to learn the nutritional requirement of the fish that is the calculation of crude protein the right ingredient to use and also how to determine the volume of each ingredient in order to meet the nutritional requirement some major feed additives to add that enhances fast growth of the fish and how to measure them in the right proportion. But remember, if you, if, do, if you don't want to miss any of this video series, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of my video. And also don't forget to download my unique catfish feed formulation blueprint in the description of this video. Now let's jump into the video. What we are starting to look at in this video is the nutritional requirement of the fish we want to look at the nutritional requirement of the fish what does the fish need in order to grow fast these are some of the aspects and this is uh, one of the things we are going to look at we are going to calculate the crude protein we are going to look at the crude protein requirement of the fish and then calculate it so in this aspect, we are going to select a stage of catfish, that is, let's choose for example fingerlings and calculate its crude protein using the Pearson method. So we are using fingerlings as an example. So in this example now, we are going to choose two ingredients, each with the right proportion of its crude protein. The ingredients... I have chosen a soya bean meal because of its availability, wheat meal because it is used as a good energy source for catfish and also good pellet binder. So as you can see, the soya bean meal has 42% crude protein, the wheat meal has 12% crude protein. Today, we are going to formulate a feed with 30% protein level. So we draw our square and place the desired protein level which is 30% at the center of the square. Group the ingredients into energy source and protein source. That is the wheat meal as an energy source and the soya bean as our protein source. So what we are going to do is we are going to subtract the difference between the ingredients crude protein, that is the soya and the wheat, and also the fish crude protein, which is the 30% at the center. The answer we get, we are going to ignore the negative sign and sum the answer. If we still get some number as to which is inside the middle of the square, then we are right. That is to say, if we do the subtraction, and then if we add the sum of the subtraction, and then we still get 30, definitely we are doing the right thing. So, when you look at soya bean with 42% crude protein, now you subtract 30 from 42. Now you have minus 12. Now you ignore the minus sign. And then we have meat meal, which is 12% crude protein. Now you subtract 30 minus 12. Now you have 18. So when you sum up 18 plus 12, definitely you are going to get 30. But I don't know what you get. Comment in the comment section your answer. So now, after getting these two particular values, we are going to calculate the percentage ingredient of the two uh, ingredients we are using. So to calculate the percentage ingredients, for wheat meal, that is the percentage for wheat. We have 18. That is the answer we have gotten from our subtraction. Multiply by 100. Now we divide it by 30. So we are going to have 
percent. The reason why we are multiplying by 100 because we are dealing with percentage. Secondly, we are going to look at the percentage for soya, which is 12, multiply same by 100. Now you divide it by 30, that is equal to 14 of the fish. Now we will have 40 percent since we are dealing with percentage. Now from the result, the percentage for the energy, that is for the wheat, is 60 percent. The percentage for the soya is 40 percent. But all these answers are in percentage. Now, how do you convert it to kilogram so that we can know the volume to measure of these two ingredients in our formulation? But if you do not subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and like this video. Check the description of this video and download my catfish food formulation blueprint. Now, to convert this percentage to kilogram, all you have to do is you have to understand the quantity of feed you want to produce. For example, you want to produce 200 kg of feed. <clears throat> now let's take for example we said to convert percentage to kilogram you are going to have quantity that is the requirement of the ingredients all over 100 multiplied by the quantity of feed to be formulated but remember our percentages for wheat we have 60 percent for soya we have 40 percent so now quantity will now be equals to 60 divided by 100 multiplied by the 200 that 60 is our percentage of wheat, and then that 100 is, the, we are dealing with percentage. Now you multiply by 200, that is the quantity of wheat you intended to formulate. So now you have 120 kg energy. Secondly, you are going to take for soya and do the same thing. You have 80 kg, that is protein. That is how to come up with the calculation of the ingredients in kilogram. But remember, those ingredients you are seeing, you need to add some other ingredients to make up the 200 kg but only two ingredients you have already meet the 200 kg that is to say when you add 120 kg plus the 80 kg you are going to have the 200 kg i know you are a little bit confused right but watch out for the next video series that is our video series part number six and i will show you how to manipulate this figure and also i will show you how to calculate the volume of the other ingredients such as the methionine, that is the synthetic methionine, the lysine, the salt, the fish premix, the phosphorus, the fat, that is our granite cake, the vitamin C to prevent crackhead in catfish, in catfish, and also how to use drugs in your feed to boost the immune system of the fish. Don't forget to download our catfish formulation blueprint in the description of this video. See you in my next video.